How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Arrow! Wow, that was sounded weird. Anyway, I'm back, and I'm playing Child of Morta. I think this is part four. If you guys are watching this, I don't know when this is coming out, but if you're watching this, is part four, I'm pretty sure. Um, hopefully, by the time this video has come out, I've at least beaten Half-Life Alex, or at least gotten it all recorded. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting it. I've been busy playing other games. Um... I, I do want to play more VR games. Like, there's um, some other playthroughs. Like, oh, man, I want to play them. I want to show you. I want to see. What, I want you to tell me what's up. But without further ado, we're going to get into some Child of Morta Part 4. This game is so beautiful. Ah, oh, so relaxing. And also, more Dungeon Core. I'm going to be doing some Dungeon Core challenges. Um, pistol only. Um, stuff like that. So check it out. We'll, we'll see what we can make of it. Oh, what the f- what are, you, what are you doing in the garden, woman? On calm days such as these, Mary enjoyed venturing into the nearby grove. What you doing? Wooden creatures came out to lend her Aww. company. The smallest ate from her basket while she took in the serenity of it all. So adorable. So adorable. Oh. Alrighty. So, uh, it looks like we almost unlocked the roguish character. Do we have any money? Spent it all? Yeah, okay, we spent it all. Um, so let's just get into this. Let's get some runs going. Let's see what we can't make happen this time. Maybe we can beat the spider boss. Maybe not. Who knows? Last time I did play John. John was a lot of fun. Um, uh, but today, I think we're going to go back with Linda. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with Linda. Gonna do a Linda run. Linda run, laddies. Oh ho! Linda! Linda! Linda Finda, Linda Fluda, Flada, Flida, Flada, Flu. Alright. Just let me get my controls back. I'm playing a lot of Dungeon Core. Good thing is, I don't have to reload in this game. Like Dungeon Core. Oh, leveled up. That was quick. How many skill points do I have? I have one. While standing still, nah. Line of focus is to temporarily push your abilities to their max. You have unlocked Guardian's Rage. Primary attacks now fill their rage meter. When fully charged, you can activate Guardian's Rage by pressing. Oh. Okay. That's pretty cool. I wasn't sure what it was, to be honest with you. God, I've been playing too much Dungeon Core. I felt like I could run right through those. Get away from me. Ah, uh, dead end. Dead, 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 dead end. Everyone was encouraged to take part in a game of destiny. A prize awaited the fortuitous, but there was only pain for the unfortunate. I don't know what I just did. But apparently I got it right. <laughs> Decrease range, rage drain. That's pretty dope. I'll take that. So kind of be my first time even experiencing rage, so pretty cool. Okay. 
Okay, there's an exit over there. Uh, let's grab all this money first. Kind of venture down this way a little bit. Is that an XP? I think it is. An XP altar. I do dig me an XP altar. Dead end. Da -da 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 dead end. These floors are starting to get pretty easy now, which is kind of nice. That was close. Okay. Uh, Alright, yeah, this looks like the only way we can go. So let's venture forth. First item room. Throw a trap that stuns enemies who whoever enters it. Okay. Sounds good to me. Throw a trap, enemies get stuck in it. Bam, bam, damn, ribba, damn, damn. Oh, yo, that was pretty cool, actually. Oh, gosh, okay. Come on. Nice. Yeah, I just kind of want to avoid those guys. I don't really like fighting them. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that. Again, been playing too much Dungeon Core. And Dungeon Core, the right bumper is the uh, phase law. At least it is for me. Got another XP altar. What is this? Oops. Oh, a rage is active. Dead end. So many dead ends. Oh, you freaking bugger. I think we found the other uh, part for the doggy. There could not have been a more perfect description nice. of this root than its name, Cave Web. Rather bland to the taste, but still edible and full of nutrients.
Nice. Well, that was lucky. Found one of those stone thingy-mabobs on that guy's body. Nice, got some HP back. That's beautiful. And an item room. What do we got this time? A melee companion that fights by your side. Oh. What's up, little dude? He's so adorable. A lot of guys right here. Nice. What is this? Increase physical, increase primary attack damage at the expense of your, of decreased maximum health. That seems kind of spooky. Can I just test it? Oh boy, okay. It activates right away. So it's definitely a passive upgrade. Okay. For some reason I thought it would just be like a... Uh, use it once, it takes away like so much HP and then you can get it back, but... Nope, it's a passive upgrade. Which is also fine. How can this be? Is he lost? muttered Margaret under her breath. Lost in the study of the walls and oblivious to her surroundings. Hey, Grandma. She always had time for her children, but it was best to leave Grandma to her pursuits now. Okay, Grandma. Good luck, Grandma. I wish you good luck, Grandma, and whatever you're doing. You know what? Let's open that. So we have this way and another way to go. Oh, shoot. So I figured we could use that trap way more way more than we actually are. Cooldown isn't really that long. Get out of here, spiders. Oh gosh, more spiders. Oh, what is that? I don't know, to be honest with you. I'll be frank with you. I have no clue. 
All right, we got our shop. We actually have a decent amount of stuff this time. <coughs> I greatly buffs you. That seems pretty nice. I want this. Try this out against this guy this time. I think we have a boss fight coming up now. A boss fight we haven't been able to win. But this time, maybe. I sure do hope so. All right. There we go. All eight eyes studied the ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop spitting at me. So far, so good. Alright, we can end her here, I think. Nice! Woohoo! Death slowly beckoned to bestow its peace. We beat her. The Bergson could go no further. The path blocked. The life crystal, as if filled to the brim with life, started to pulse. What a way is had opened a step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. For before taking that step, caution dictated a return to home to inform the family of the newfound passage. Nice, guys. Let's go. 15 minutes. That was a pretty fast freaking run. We found a cave web, which is good. Pretty sure we can give that to the dog. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Yeah, maybe you should have. Oh, did the rogue guy take him? He took him. Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Now, she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. Oh no, he took the daggers. I mean, you can't stop a child from doing what he wants. What was that? Hey, there he is. Is that him? Kevin returned from his saga with barely a scratch. Yet, he found no appreciation from his family. Especially his father. Oh boy. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. His favorite line, asking how he could be so inconsiderate. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle. And Dang, let's go. Was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage 
with caution. He got the daggers. He got the daggers. That's sick. All right. Perhaps Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew had oh my his gosh. in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Yo, so cool. I want to play as him. That character looks sick. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Dyer. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the lost trenches. Well then, all right. So we got some things to look at here. I'm pretty sure we helped the doggo. I think. Margaret knew full well that signs and symbols were seldom obvious and never direct. Maybe we so I don't know. That the cause of the corruption would be difficult to discover. Maybe we didn't help the doggy yet? Maybe we're still missing something for the doggo. The past holds both joy and bitterness of time. Sheila could help them, as John said, but Ben could not bring himself to overlook the sting of their past relationship. Okay. Kevin is now available in character selection and has learned the ways of the assassin. Let's go. Precision upgrade. Alright, we can clear that. And this, and this, and this, and this. Alright. Increases the critical chance. Could grab movement speed, though. Let's grab this. And this. All right. Can we upgrade the any books? Maybe. No. Holy, that's expensive. Ah, suspensive. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end this episode here for today, and in the next episode, we're definitely gonna try out the assassin character. See how he plays. I'm pretty excited. I look badass. Um. Um. But with that, yeah. With that, that with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um, and until next time, guys, stay sexy, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!